So what are tensor products? Kind of the question I would like to ask or how to multiply vector spaces and matrices. There's a, a related video how to uh, add vector spaces and matrices, which I will, which I will link. Um, so my wish list also, let's think about it together. So you want to multiply vector spaces. Why? Well, because you know how to multiply numbers. So what do you know about multiplication of numbers? Well, you certainly know that A times B equals B times A. Yeah, and I want something similar for vector spaces. I will explain the funny symbol in the middle in a second, but basically I want V tensor of W to be equal to W tensor V. Um, we also know that A times B times C is A times B times C. We all know that, right? So um, yeah, I, I think I want something similar for vector spaces. And if I think about multiplication, I, I really want, want this property. The dimensions multiply, right? The dimension of the tensor product should be the dimension. The dimension of the product should be the product of the dimensions. So question would be, how can we do this in some reasonable way? And well, what I would propose is the following approach. So I want to think of anything I multiply is basically a multiplication table. So I multiply A times B, and it's basically given in some multiplication table. Maybe we have a C here, so this is A, B, A, C, right? Multiplication is always something two-dimensional, a grid-like thing. If you multiply three with four, what you should get is, well, you should get 12, right? So it's a multiplication by table. And that's exactly what I propose. Well, it's, it's not my definition. So how um, tensor products work. So in order to tensor two vectors, let's say I have a three-dimensional vector in R3, and I have a two-dimensional vector in R2. So all I would propose is, remember that I want to end up with something six-dimensional, because three times two is six. I want to end up with a six, with a vector with six entries. So just, just do the same thing. You just um, keep this multiplication table in mind and do exactly the same. You put your vector here, and you put the other vector here, and just multiply the numbers, one times four, one times five, and so on. Collect them in the vector, and that's what you get, right? Uh, three times four seems to be 12. Yeah, here you go, 12. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Okay, and you can really multiply vectors. You can multiply bases, right? So all of you know that um, the basis of R3 is given by those three vectors. And the basis of um, R2 is given by these two vectors. So what should be a reasonable basis for, for this guy? Right? Well, just use the multiplication table approach. Right? First vector, second vector, third vector, times first vector, second vector, first vector, second vector, first vector, second vector, and by construction you get exactly one non-zero entry, right? Because you just multiply the numbers. Just ranging in this matrix in this grid-like fashion. Here's another one, here's another one. Uh, here's another one. And that's it. So I just told you how to multiply vectors, right? Um, just think of multiplication. How would you multiply elements diagrammatically? That's what you would do. Just do the same for vectors not so complicated. Um, so let's go through my checklist. Uh, does this actually work? Does it, it should, right? Because everything is not arranged in the grid, but we need to double check. So let's see well, how, whether this works. So if I multiply these two, yeah, well, I put this one here and I put this one here and I get this grid-like table, which contains the numbers, whatever. If I do it the other way around, I put this one here and I would put this one here and I get a table which is not equal, 
but of course it contains the same information just just transpose it just transpose the table and it contains exactly the same information um yeah i mean that's why I, but but it's not equal so let me stress it again that that's why i write this symbol instead of equal so it's kind of it contains the same information it's called isomorphic um it contains the same information but it's not quite the same uh if you do the same for this actually six dimension uh three dimensional grid it's like it's like it's like it's like really like a you tend to a grid with a grid and another grid so you get a three dimensional picture and again there are two ways of doing it and both of them are the same and this is exactly i the same contain the same information are the same up to isomorphism and that's exactly what happened what's happened so yeah it works and the last one is kind of um well, you should check it, obviously, but it, it's easy. It's basically by definition, because, uh, well, remember that all I'm doing is I'm copying the usual multiplication rule, maybe one dot more, um, that it would do for, for whatever apples. How to multiply three apples with four apples? Well, that's what you would do. And of course, you would get uh, 12 apples, that this is all I'm doing. This is exactly how the basis works. So, yep, yep, yep. Nothing mysterious. Um, here's the formal definition. You can stop the video and read it. It's not so important. Um, basically, you create a new vector space where your, uh, where your uh, basis vectors are now the elementary matrices. But the ones that come out of of the multiplication table rule. That's it. Okay. Um, yes. So how to multiply matrices? I, I told you now how to multiply vec vectors, vector spaces, and just putting vectors on a grid and creating matrices or tables out of vectors. Um, so how can you actually now multiply uh, matrices? You play exactly the same game. Okay. You play exactly the same game. So let me let me let me explain. So R two tensor R three should give you R six. I hope that's what we can all agree on now. R two tensor R one should give you R two, right? So this kind of player. Um, that's what I explained. So what to do with the matrices? Well, why not do the same trick? Why not put the matrix one two three four? Why not put it? in a grid-like fashion, together with the other matrix, five, six, seven, and just copy this thing three times. Here you go. Oh, well, I'm running out of space, but you will get the point. Three times. Oh, um, and um, multiply it with the other matrix, with the entries of the other matrix. And you get a new matrix. So this matrix here is this matrix, right? This matrix here is this matrix. And the remaining one, this matrix here is this matrix. And yes, that's all there is to it. That's how you tensor matrices. Okay, um, that's it. So, what is the tensor product? It's it's basically just copying the the grid like multiplication that you all that you all know for vectors, and there's nothing mysterious about it. Um, yeah. So I hope that helps. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.